these are the 19 cards that I'm submitting to tag. This is the third time that I've submitted there. All these vintage hollows I picked up recently at a card shop. And all these cards should grade 7 plus. So we'll get a good feel for tag and how they grade these vintage cards. Expenses for all of these cards is about $575. I just did the normal grading level, which is $15 per card. And I think the total was $285. So it's like $860 all in right now. So if I'm able to sell every card for $50, after grading then i would be profitable these two cards right here were the cleanest of all of the cards in the submission i think these should both get 10. these are pack fresh super clean cards a psa 10 of this sells for around 500 dollars. so if we can hit these two that should really cover the entire submission itself i've got my tag submission back 19 cards so let's open these up and go through them so we're going to take a look at each one, see what the grade is, and give a little review for how accurate it is, kind of see the issues with the card and how that matches the grade. So first one, we have a Dark Weezing 8.5. As you can see, these are very clean cards, basically just a pack fresh card. There's a little bit of whitening down there in the bottom right, but honestly, <laughs> this would probably be a PSA 9. We have a first edition Mr. Mime 8.5, also very clean. A little bit of silvering on the edges for this one. Some issues down there in the bottom right corner. A little bit of whitening on the left edge, but overall, very clean card. First edition Electrode 8.5. Again, some small issues down there. Did get some tens in this submission. Cliff Fable 9. Looks like we have like a small vertical print line. But overall, just an extremely clean card. Brock's Nine Tails 10. Honestly, a perfect looking card. First edition Jolteon 9. I think this is just very comparable to a PSA 9. Gengar 8.5. This is a tough hollow too. You see the print line? Some minor whitening on the bottom of the card. But overall very clean. There's also some that got like 7.5 and 6, somewhere in here, so we'll be able to look at those that have more issues and see what was wrong with them. Another Gengar, 8. So this one just had a little more issues than the last one, a little more whitening down there on the bottom. Still a very clean card. Gengar, 8.5. Some small hollow issues on there that you can see. A little bit of whitening around the edges. Magneton first edition nine. Very clean card. So maybe it's just the whitening here on the left. But again, I think this is getting at least a nine at any company, any grading company. So I would say this is accurate. Golbat 8.5. Again, very clean card. Just some little whitening spots. This could easily be a nine at other companies. Azumarill, first edition, 7.5. So this one, it said it had a bunch of different issues. It said there was issues like throughout the text. Well, let's definitely hop on the computer for this one. See where it said those flaws are. I don't know, I feel like this is like a 9. Okay, so first let's take a look at the Azumarill. We can scroll down and see the dings. So it's saying that there's surface or print defects in three different spots there. And then there's some corner wear here. Okay, so we can click on this view. 
So this is saying like on the Sugimori text or like right above it, then there's something here and something here. Man, I am not seeing anything. There's just nothing there. No issues there on the back either. So I guess I can ask them about this. Rocket Zapdos 10 with the swirl. Very clean card, just pack fresh looking. Beautiful all the way around, makes sense. Togetic first edition 7.5. There are some print lines. So let's also hop on the computer for this one and see what was wrong with it. Now let's take a look at the Togetic it's saying there's one surface defect that is knocking this down to a 7.5 it's like right below this text on the bottom. We had something between the text down here on the front. Again, like I see nothing. I don't know, man. I feel like this can also be at least nine condition as well. Togetic first edition nine. Has some print lines, but very clean card. Very little whitening. Maybe a little bit of whitening down there. So I think that's a fair grade. These two I was surprised by a little bit. Rocket Scyther 9. Like I said, I thought these two were the cleanest in the submission, these two Rocket Scythers. The other Rocket Scyther 9. So we've got a Salamence 8. I think this is just saying that there was scratches on the back right there, like on the TM. Okay, that's just like a white speck in the case. You can see some of those other deep scratches on the Pokeball there. I must have missed those. Because overall, like at a glance, this just looked like it would get a 10. And then this one said uh, there was a dent, I guess. Overall clean card, but they said there was a dent. Yeah, right there. Okay, moving on to the summary of this video. Overall, I want to say I think they did a pretty fair job for this submission. There was some minor issues, I would say, with the Scythers. I'm not sure what happened. But you do have those issues with every single grading company. Some of these Neo cards have like this yellowish print. It's not an error or an issue or a defect or a dent or anything. It's just a alternate style, I guess. It just has some yellow. And you know, the Togetic had that as well. So I think that's what's happening. It's, it's marking this normal printing variant as a defect. So I've already messaged them about these two. I'm gonna see what they say. I think we'll be able to correct those. I'll have to send them back in. But I don't think it's a defect or anything that should lower the grade. Um, but it's clearly that's what it seems to be showing to me. As far as the money goes, so I think I sp said I spent like 850 or 860 or, and you can see if I select all these cards, the estimates, this is based on like recent solds for PSA and I think these are honestly comparable grades to PSA. So the sum would be over $2,000. So I definitely have profit. Um, what I'll end up doing is I'd probably Let's see. So let's select all these prices. I'm going to see what they think about these two 7.5s. So I won't sell those for now. And then I'll probably take out the two 10s. Then I'm left with these cards selected worth $14.50. So I'll probably do $14.50 and then <laughs> just fire sale these to a streamer at 70, 75%. And you end up with over a thousand dollars. So that makes it more of like a quick, easy sale. You get your thousand bucks back. You can reinvest that into something else. You're in profit and then you still have a couple of the best cards in the submission and then um, a couple more they could upgrade. And that's what I'm looking at as far as the money situation goes for this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful. Let us know what you think down in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.